knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. For a limited time, get 25% off on this introductory offer. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. Ancientdefense.com. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com Oil of Oregano Formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 Now, back in the 1970s, when I was just a young lad, uh, I remember that all these TV commercials that they used to run on television, scaring the American public into taking their swine flu vaccines. Unfortunately, my mom, she, she fell for the propaganda and it, it scared her to death. I was rushed out, got the swine flu vaccine. Fortunately, I was not seriously harmed or even killed like many other Americans. And now Rob Dew, he's put together a special report we're about to show you right now with the vintage classic TV commercials included. You gotta check this out. It's very, very interesting. It's also interesting how the more things change, the more they stay the same. Flash forward to modern day America, we are still seeing an avalanche of propaganda to get us all to take our vaccines. And you're a crazy conspiracy theorist and a bad parent if you don't vaccinate your children, right? Well, now, you're not going to believe this, McDonald's is setting up free vaccine clinics in Texas. And guess what? You get a free ice cream once you get vaccinated. Here's Rob Dew. Hey guys, Rob Dew from Infowars.com and Infowars Nightly News. And I have a follow-up to the lengthy report that I put out just a couple days ago on the Alex Jones channel and on Prison Planet TV. That report is currently going viral, and I encourage you to watch it. I'll put a link to that report at the end of this one. But here I want to focus on Dr. Ann Shukit. She's the director of the National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases at the CDC, and she was the one being interviewed by Senator Elizabeth Warren when they had that beautiful exchange of how vaccines were so safe and effective and that there was no credible science anywhere on the planet that could say otherwise. Definitely running cover for Big Pharma. So I wanted to take a look at Dr. Shukit, specifically her past to see where she came from. I hadn't really seen much of her uh, looking at vaccines in the past, but she was out there, especially back in 2009, 2010 flu season during the H1N1 scare where they were trying to get everybody to get the H1N1 vaccine. And I found a couple of uh, transcripts from press conferences that she released. This one's from November 12, 2009 where she says, the immunization efforts with this supply continue to be focused on the target population priority groups, pregnant women, healthcare workers, children and young adults up to 24 and adults 25 to 64 with chronic conditions and parents and other caretakers with small children and children under six months of age. But what I'm specifically interested in is what she talks about in the beginning of that priority group section. It is pregnant women. Now I hold here in my hot little hand, 
the influenza virus vaccine flu zone, and this is from 2009-2010 formula. This is an old uh, insert that I was able to get back then. Here it says, under use in specific populations, safety and effectiveness of flu zone have not been established in pregnant women or nursing mothers or children under six months of age. So here in the insert, it says it's not even recommended for pregnant women. It hasn't even been studied on pregnant women or young children or nursing mothers. Flip it over on the back and it says this, under section eight, use in specific populations, pregnancy. Animal reproduction studies have not been conducted with flu zone vaccine. It is not known whether flu zone can cause fetal harm when administered to a pregnant woman or affect reproduction capacity. Flu zone vaccine should be given to a pregnant woman only if clearly needed. Under 8.3, nursing mothers. It is not known whether flu zone vaccine is excreted in human milk. Because many drugs are excreted in human milk, caution should be exercised when flu zone vaccine is administered to a nursing woman. So in two different spots, in this insert from the same year where Dr. Shukit was out there promoting it, that pregnant women should get this vaccine, it says it should not be given and it has not been tested on pregnant women. There you go, once again, the CDC pushing dangerous chemicals and adjuvants and vaccines on people and on groups that they shouldn't even be targeting. And this is the insert that comes from the maker of the vaccine flu zone dated 2009, 2010. So maybe in uh, November 2009, she hadn't got that information yet. Well, here she is in January on video during a press conference, specifically targeting pregnant women and nursing mothers. Here's that clip. This is a concerted effort of the CDC, Health and Human Services, and all of our partners to encourage vaccination. It includes a focus on people at high risk for complications, adults with emphysema, diabetes, cancer, children, pregnant women and seniors, really a focus on encouraging vaccination for anyone who hasn't yet been vaccinated and wants to be. Vaccine is still important for pregnant women and for postpartum women. They've had terrible complications from this flu virus. And although many have been vaccinated, we know others haven't. And we do encourage vaccination of pregnant and postpartum women. And doing my research in this 2009 swine flu epidemic, I also recalled the one that happened in the 70s. And, and this is one that we have lots of documentation of, especially of the dangerous effects of the vaccine. Swine flu? Man, I'm too fast to let it catch me. In fact, 60 Minutes did a report on it, and here's a couple clips. Remember the swine flu scare of 1976? That was the year the U.S. government told us all that swine flu could turn out to be a killer that could spread across the nation. Well, 46 million of us obediently took the shot. And now 4,000 Americans are claiming damages from Uncle Sam amounting to three and a half billion dollars because of what happened when they took that shot. By far the greatest number of the claims, two thirds of them, are for neurological damage or even death. So this vaccine was endorsed by the president. They used several other actor endorsements, including Mary Tyler Moore. And when she was asked by 60 Minutes, she had this to say. Mary, did you take a swine flu shot? No, I did not. Did you give them permission to use your name saying that you had or were going to? Absolutely not. Never did. Did you ask your own doctor about taking the swine flu shot? Yes, and at the time he thought it might be a good idea. Um, but I resisted it because I was leery of having the symptoms that sometimes go with that kind of inoculation. And when the head of the CDC was asked about this, here's what he had to say. Let me read to you from one of your own agencies memos planning the campaign to urge Americans to take the shot. The swine flu vaccine has been taken by many important persons, he wrote. Example, President Ford, Henry Kissinger, Elton John, Muhammad Ali, Mary Tyler Moore, Rudolf Nureyev, Walter Cronkite, Ralph Nader, Edward Kennedy, etc., etc. True? Uh, I'm not familiar with that particular piece of paper, uh, but I do know that at least of that group, President Ford did take the vaccination. Did you talk to these people beforehand to find out if they planned to take the shot? I did not know. Did anybody? I do not know. Did you get permission to use their names in your campaign? I do not know. So around 500 people developed Guillain-Barre syndrome, and at least 25 people died as a result of the vaccine. And that year, there were only 200 cases of swine flu reported, and ultimately only one death. So there you go, you see the CDC once again scaring the population into getting vaccines and injecting themselves with these chemicals and then just kind of backing away, oh, when there's a problem. If a swine flu epidemic comes, this is how it could spread. 
You'll want to be protected, especially if you're elderly or chronically ill. Get a shot of protection, the swine flu shot. Although the head of the CDC did get fired as a result of this scandal. Let me ask you another question. Where do you get your health advice from? Do you get it from McDonald's? Well, right now McDonald's is giving away free vaccines with Happy Meals in Texas. Do you want your hepatitis A shot with that Happy Meal? This is what Anthony Gucciardi says out of Natural Society. This program was actually happening in the city of Amarillo, and here's what the local paper had to say. The city of Amarillo's Department of Public Health and the Caring for Children Foundation of Texas will offer free vaccinations for children from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Saturday at McDonald's Restaurant on 815 South Grand Street. They were offering the meniococcal vaccine, varicella, uh, MMR, the Tdap booster vaccine, hepatitis A. In addition to letting people set up vaccination clinics on site of one of their stores, I have here a McDonald's coupon that says, well, if McDonald's, the role model of health, thinks it's a good idea, then it must be. And the coupon says, if you get immunized, bring your card in, you'll get a free vanilla cone. So now we should be taking our health advice from McDonald's, a company that puts actual silly putty and plastic products in the food that you eat. Are you loving it yet? And I want to end this report showing how the freedom-loving spirit can prevail in certain instances. Back in 2011, the Canadian press posted that measles among vaccinated Quebec kids questioned. And it talks about a case in Quebec where 52 of 98 teens who caught the measles vaccine were fully vaccinated. And this was a shock to the researchers that investigated it. And it's not a shock to me. In fact, here's a clip from Dr. Suzanne Humphreys talking about how people, after they get vaccinated, they actually shed the disease. I've got another study um, from uh, Croatia. And um, there were several cases of measles uh, outbreaks occurring in children who had just been vaccinated. And so they looked at um, the strain. They're, they're having intensive surveillance of measles during this period of time. And so they looked at, with, with this DNA or genetic fingerprinting, what strains they were. And it was the vaccine strain that they were infected with. So not only did they become, uh, they become sick from measles, from the strain that they were vaccinated with, but they were contagious. As a result of this and other stories, there's actually a family out there that started a daycare that's vaccine free. In fact, they don't wanna take any kids if they've had their vaccinations. Here it is from CBC News, vaccine-free daycare criticized by Ottawa Public Health. They say a vaccine-free environment is safer for young children because those who get the needle could, as Abaca calls it, shed some of the disease to others. We can just play and we don't have to worry about them contracting uh, something from sheddings. But Ottawa Public Health has a big issue with vaccine-free daycares, and it wants to get the message out to parents that the measles vaccine is both effective and very safe. And I think you're going to see a trend of this happening. People are going to start bucking the system, saying, look, we don't care what you're saying. We're not going to put this stuff into us. You haven't fully tested it. You're not being forthright. You've set up a secret court where we can't even get evidence from the vaccine companies and you just award judgments willy-nilly depending on semantics. No, people are starting to fight back and this is one way and I think you're gonna see a lot more of these and I hope to see a lot more of these in the United States where freedom-loving Americans are gonna put their foot down and say, we wanna have an environment where vaccine-free kids can get together and not just be pushed around by all you vaccine lovers out there. This has been Rob Dew for InfoWars.com and InfoWars Nightly News. If you like reports like these, please consider becoming a member of PrisonPlanet.tv. Your subscription can be shared with up to 20 people. That's 20 InfoWarriors for the price of one. I encourage you to become a member today. Thank you. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know the fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of silver bullet colloidal silver exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high quality silver bullet from InfoWarsLife.com and to help others during Christmas by teaching them about the powerful benefits of silver. Secure